I wanted to give a talk, I was actually asked slightly to try and talk about quantum mechanics as well as cosmology in relation to the, the idea of a conference like this or a meeting like this, which is quantum computing, one of the big things that's in the air. And so I related it back to a very famous uh, essay or article that was written by Richard Feynman in 1959, which is called There's Plenty of Room at the Bottom. And he made a simple point, which is that information is a physical thing. It's stored in physical objects. And physical objects obey the laws of quantum theory. So therefore, information will also obey the laws of quantum theory, uh, particularly if you're using small enough objects to store the information. So once we start having computers that are built out of, or, or, or operate by manipulating single atoms, or single particles even, then the laws of quantum theory are necessary to understand that and provide opportunities. And so we talked about how, for example, a quantum computer with 256 qubits, which are uh, particles essentially that are uh, entangled together or described as a quantum system, 256 of them, that could be, you know, the very simplest level, 256 electrons, um, although you do something different technologically speaking, but basically. To simulate that behavior, you would need 10 to the power 80 classical bits, which is the number one with 80 noughts after it, which is essentially about the number of atoms in the observable universe in two trillion galaxies. So I talked about that. And also the fact that quantum theory is now used uh, with cosmology to, in our best theory of describing why the universe is the way that it is. So why the galaxies are distributed on the sky in the way that they are, our best theory is that you can trace that back to events that happened when the entire observable universe was significantly smaller than an atom. And so quantum theory reigns supreme. So it's kind of trying to bring those ideas together.